Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Katie, I'm your friendly skincare fanatic. So if you're skincare obsessed like me, then please hit the subscribe button down below. It really does mean the world to have you with me. In today's video, I'm going to be going through everything that you need to know about combination skin. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. If you have combination skin, you're going to have a oily T-zone or oil around your nose. Um, you're going to have dry patches of skin maybe on your cheeks. This is just a general kind of indication of combination skin. Dry skin is a a skin type so your natural production of oil is less so you're not producing enough oil in your skin to give your give your skin its natural lubrication so therefore you get dry patches um, with oily skin it's the opposite and your skin is overly producing your natural oil which is known as sebum and this can cause oiliness it can cause congestion and leads and can lead to breakouts so having these two types of, of um, skin types in in one is known as combination so you just need to be aware of what your skin looks like if you can't get to see a skin specialist or a dermatologist because of lockdown then there are some things that you can do at home to determine your skin type you need to wash your face with a cleanser and then just let it dry then you need to wait 15 to 30 minutes you don't apply any product during this time uh, because this is when you can tell your skin type if your skin feels normal and smooth there's no signs of flaking or oiliness then you have a normal skin type if your skin during this time that you haven't applied any products if your skin feels tight and like dehydrated then you have dry skin and you may start to notice some flaky areas during this time because your skin isn't getting any any ingredients so during this time when no products have been applied you'll start to see your oiliness come through on your t-zone so from your forehead down your nose and your chin this is the main area of oiliness with combination skin and then your cheeks may start to feel slightly dry and dehydrated and that tight feeling as well so your oily parts have enlarged pores as well and with oily skin during this time that no products have been applied your your skin will feel shiny and maybe kind of like slick to touch and you're like you're more likely to have breakouts so the right products for you and for your skin type are really really important if you use lots of steps in your skincare routine this can cause havoc for combination skin so really just try to keep it simple the types of products that you are using can also contribute to your oily areas becoming more oily you might suffer with more breakouts Breakouts. and again the ingredients that you're using may cause your drier uh, skin to become more flaky more itchy more red and just not not good so really you've got to look at the products that you are using so ingredients such as alcohol and sulfates need to be in, need to be avoided at all costs with any skin type but more so with combination skin they can really strip your skin further so those dry areas will become drier and also it may stimulate oil production in other areas of your face so using the right products is key unlike normal oily and dry skin with combination skin um, there isn't a one size fits all unfortunately so what this does mean is that it's okay to use two types of moisturizers so if you have combination skin I would suggest a purchasing a lightweight gel or moisturizer for your oily parts of your face and actually this can be applied to your whole face the, the gel or the or the lotion and then a richer thicker cream for your drier areas so for the, those drier areas you will use an emollient based moisturizer if you want to use an oil because face oils have some amazing benefits they can hydrate they can soothe and they can smooth skin tones uh, if you want to use an oil it's totally okay if you have combination skin instead of applying it to the whole face and massaging it on your face you just need to apply it to the areas that need it in a dabbing motion so just dab it precisely where you need it we've spoken about moisturizers and now just talking quickly about cleansers so cleansers should be a gentle but effective um, gel like consistency or or a lotion all choice optimal results hydrating cleanser is a good start it's 
super gentle. It will effectively remove impurities and makeup without stripping your skin of its natural oils. It won't leave it too dry or too greasy. If you really want to, another little technique is to use a extremely gentle cleansing brush. Um, so this is a manual type, not the electronic type. And you can just use this in circular motions on your skin, but the bristle has to be super, super gentle. Otherwise, you're just going to strip your skin. It will aggravate those dry areas and cause tightness. So using a toner is also important. It restores your skin's natural pH level back to normal. So using a well-formulated toner will really help to nourish dry skin and minimize oiliness at the same time. So in terms of exfoliation, exfoliation is brilliant for removing your those dead skin cells, for increasing cell turnover and just giving your skin a lovely radiant glow. But yet knowing the right type of exfoliator is quite confusing. So if you have combination skin, it's good to use a non-embrasive type. So you get a physical um, exfoliator where it's got tiny particles in and you uh, gently rub it, rub your face and those tiny, tiny molecules will break down dead skin cells. You wash your face and those dead skin cells are washed away as well. With a leave-on exfoliator, such as BHA. So these types of like um, acid toners help to shed the skin naturally without abrasion. So there's no scrubbing. They can unclog pores, lessen oily skin while gently smoothing rough dry skin. BHA means beta hydroxy acid. BHA helps to unclog pores and gently smooth rough and dry skin. So it's a really great multitasker whilst being gentle on the face. It also has hydrating properties to give your skin back its normal healthy glow. If you like a liquid, then Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid if exfoliant is really good. Paula's Choice, what I like about her website is that you can buy trial sizes. I think it's about three mil and that's 70p or you can get a 30 mil and that's 10 pounds so i love this especially because i can't get out to a paula's choice clinic things are starting to relax in the uk it's just difficult at the moment with children and nursery and whatever else so actually ordering a sample from your skincare brand is the way forward in my opinion and Paula's Choice um, allows you to do this. So it's 70p for a 3 mil or £10 for a 30 mil. Now the 30 mil will last you ages so I think that is the way to go but if you just want to really test it out um, a couple of times then the 3 mil will be great and that's 70p. Okay so I've spoken about um, your cleanser, toner, your moisturiser and obviously SPF. So whatever skin type you have you must 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 always include an SPF and generally speaking SPF 30 is okay I like to go higher and I use SPF 50 on my face Paula's Choice recommends youth extending daily hydrating fluid SPF 50 so this is the last step in your morning routine and this is a lightweight formula it promotes a healthy looking um, appearance it fights against those environmental stresses that i've spoken about and it's a fluid formula that leaves a matte finish it provides uva and uvb protection and includes hydrating properties so that your skin is smooth and supple and you have a younger looking complexion okay so there we have it i hope you have found today's video useful please let me know in the comments below um, what you use if you have combination skin or if you have any really good recommendations out there for me yeah let me know in the comments below and i will see you on the next this mummy knows